Hello everyone, this is Deb with Dahlia Designs. I'm here to do the unboxing of the December Potomac Beads Treasure Box Kit. It's, um, they were formerly known as their Best Bead Box, or, or Best Bead Box XL, I can't remember. Um, but for 2023, they started something new, and it is the Treasure Box, which is not kits, inside there's no um, instructions it's just free uh, you know free to design how you want and make what you want with the items in it um, now i am sponsored by potomac bees they send this to me and um, i'm supposed to do two videos at least one being the unboxing and the other um, either tutorials or project shares, that kind of thing, preferably tutorials, but I'm not so good at those. Anyway, let's open it and see what we have. This came in the mail on November 25th, and I um, only took the outer wrapping off. So this is called Winter Luminescence. Bold and bright lights glow above a pristine blanket of shimmering snow. Soft, pearlescent angels hover in every storefront vignette downtown. This month's treasure box features merry and bright colors of check glass, as well as a touch of snow white that marks the winter holiday season. Create festive holiday jewelry with a basic stringing technique, reminiscent of popped corn and cranberries on an evergreen tree, and build your own cozy atmosphere that is perfect for creating memories with friends and family. And here is their website, www.potomicbeads.com ideas. I will have a link to that down below. Please use that link if you're interested in purchasing a treasure box, a kit box, which has patterns in it. Um, and But you don't have to use patterns if you don't like those particular ones. You can just use the items or anything else on their website. And that would give my channel credit um, for you going there. So that would be great. All right. And the other side has what they, um, what's in here. So let's go through it. I'm just gonna dump it out and move the box out of the way. Lots of goodies. I'm really happy we have bead stringing wire this time. <laughs> Ooh, an ornament even. Okay, now, and that's the first thing. So, ooh, and those, I like those too. I use them all the time, different style ones. We got one, it looks like, but that's okay. Most of the time you only need it for the one end. Okay, laser cut ornament form. Let's take it out of the bag. You can paint these, these are wood. You can paint these. I imagine, though I'm not sure because I've never tried it, I imagine you could fill this in with resin or something. Um, but yeah, definitely very pretty. I will probably paint it uh, or not. I have another idea too, but it's a snowflake inside an ornament. Very, very cute, very pretty. And what does this say? Laser cut exclusive, yeah, wood leather. This one is wood. Wood designs are lightweight and sustainable, right? Protective coating can be removed to reveal the beautiful wood, acrylic, or leather material beneath. Okay, so I'm guessing this top layer, which is shinier, has a coating, on, a um, layer on it. I don't know. It looks like it has varnish on it, so I'll, I'll deal with that later. Yeah, I don't think this side has anything, but this one looks like it has something on it. So we shall see. I'll get my pokey tool out to do that. And then we do have a bead stopper, just one. That's fine, I have lots of them. And um, this is 0.018, so it's like a medium uh, diameter bead strand, seven, seven strand. Um, so not as good as like 19 or, 19 or 49 strand, but not bad. You can, it's fine to use. Nylon coated stainless steel. I definitely will use that. All right, check glass Christmas trees. It looks like there are four of them in here and two are like an opaque with gold 
and uh, I have never had this color, this pale green, more of a semi-translucent. You can sort of see through them, but not completely. And they have more of a silver design on them. I think this this is either gold or bronze. That one looks more copper. Yeah, that one, they're definitely, this one's gold and this one's copper. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll see what I do with them. I have used them for earrings and things in the past myself. Check glass pearl petals, 22 millimeter pearl petals. That's not those. Let's see. Um, um, oh, that's these. 22 millimeter. Oh, those are cool. I haven't seen these. I've seen, I've had little petals, but I haven't had these larger ones. Let's see if they're, okay, they're drilled, they're top drilled side to side at the top of them. So you could like go like this, or you can just use them like this. They're beautiful. I love the white pearl on them. Beautiful. Check petal beads, 22 millimeter. Check spike beads. I saw them in white. Mine are in white. 5 by 13 millimeter. And um, they're top drilled also at the wide part. Spike beads. Like icicles, right? Reminiscent of icicles. I'll put them here. Hopefully you could see them. And check faceted rounds, five millimeter in two colors. Okay, oops. Looks like I have a, like a Capri Blue. I think these are both five millimeter. Yeah, that's not the same. Okay, I think it's these. Although these, and for now I'm gonna say it's these two. Capri blue, like an AB, and um, sort of a dark peridot or maybe fern green, also with an AB finish. Really, really pretty and sparkly. Love those. And check glass angel wings. I have had these before from a different company. Love them. I will definitely use them for sure. They're gorgeous, and we got a whole strand of them in clear. I don't think they're AB. I think they're just clear, but that's okay. I like them a lot. Potomac Pearls in two millimeter. These are teeny ones. I'm not going to take them out. Eight inch strand of pastel green in two millimeter. They'll be nice for ac little accents. Metal spacer beads, two by three millimeter. Oh, here. And these are in stainless steel, 24 karat rose gold plated. Hmm. I don't think we've gotten them before. Here's the number if you're interested in them. 153139. And the pearls, the number was 321667 if you're interested in the little two millimeter pearls. Let's see, anything, I don't think anything else had... Oh, this, the white spikes have a number 14502. One of them didn't come out. Got a good number of those. Okay. Now, lever back ear wires. Oops. Huh. I didn't even... Okay. We did. We got one pair of 18 millimeter silver plated brass ear wires. I love lever backs, and these have a shell on them. <laughs> um, I actually have quite a number of shell lever backs. I bought them in bulk one time from a certain company. So, yeah, good to have. And the number on those is 153000. Love lever backs. Okay. Beading cable that we already showed. That's this. And check glass mix. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Lots of red, greens, and clears, and whites, but there's some unusual shapes in there, it looks like. Well, we got one focal, and it has the hole through the middle, so it's, it would be like this on a necklace, or this on a, on a 
if you did like a pendant and had it uh, things on top or bottom of it, you could go like that. Lots of red uh, daggers, both frosted and transparent and opaque. Um, some green faceted bicones. A couple odd shaped beads here. And little round reds and a lot of these white um, sort of like a, a double, um, what do they call this shape? I forget. It has like a, it has a ridge around the center. It's like a double bicone, but with a ridge in the middle. There's a neat saucer, like a saucer bead, I guess. And then there's some smooth rounds, opaque, faceted, so greens, reds, and whites. Nice mix for the holidays. I'm just going to shove that over here so I don't drop the items on the floor. Okay. Um, Ava beads. Uh, that, mm, nope. Okay, that must be these. Metallic emerald factory pack 10 by 4 millimeter. Yeah, we had these in the, I think in the very first box we got in January in like a mix, but these are all, what did they call it? Metallic emerald. Very pretty. Can definitely use those. And those are number uh, 64837. Love the color of those. Love, love. They're um, two hole on each side and so you can put something in the middle if you so choose like that or not <laughs> um check rondell nuggets i saw them these are twist nuggets they're not the same <laughs> i think that's these yeah i think we had these in like a bright blue before so these are pretty in the red look at the um, glow off of them very pretty and a whole strand of them like um let's see how big that is um about about seven three quarter seven and three quarter seven and a half seven and three quarter inch strand something like that very nice love those and then there's twist nuggets in red, white, and green. These are different. And we got um, five of those. Yeah, the red, white, and green on the actual beads themselves. Interesting. I, I like different things because they make for a more interesting piece, you know? Um, you can put your rounds and, and rondelles on and stuff, but you need something to set it apart from other pieces, right? So I like that. Now those are no barcode available, but they'll go nice with that mix and these reds here. Check glass round six millimeter. Nope. Okay. This is in like a lavender. They almost look like a pale amethyst, but they're clear with some lavender. They kind of don't go with a lot of the stuff, but they'll go, excuse me, with these, or these, or these. Lavender and green is pretty together. Lilac and green, whatever. So yeah, that's a whole strand of those. Smooth, a uh, six millimeter round. Then four millimeter rounds are in a, a pale green. It doesn't say the color if the tag's partly off. I can't tell in my lighting. It looks like a pale yellow there and I was gonna say I can't tell if it's a pale yellow or a pale green but I believe it's a pale yellow translucent round. Different. They'll go with any of those really. Okay that's four millimeter. Check glass puffed coins. Now I've had these in a different color, but I love, I think it was in a different color, but we got quite a lot of them and they're beautiful. And these are drilled, you know, top to bottom 
or side to side depending on how you use them. Aren't they pretty? I'm not sure I've gotten these from Potomac Bees, but I've gotten them elsewhere in a different, I think like a Frosted AB or something. I can't remember. Very pretty and a lot of them. And they are number 14292. Okay, then we have a crystal Rivoli, Rivoli, 10 millimeter, and Mystic Sapphire. It's a beautiful color. I'll take it out in a minute. The number is 35731. I don't know that I have 10 millimeter ones. I have some 12 millimeter. Not in this color. This is a gorgeous color. Look at that. So pretty. And you know, turquoise is a color for December for birthstone, turquoise, and topaz. Like this almost looks like a, a blue topaz, only, only brighter. They're calling it mystic sapphire. It's gorgeous. And the back, oh, the back is blue actually. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that. I usually see silver kind of backs, but that's really pretty. It, it makes it have more pop of color, I think. Okay. Then, Mayuki Seed Beads 11-0 in a red um, silver lined ruby. And the number on them is 70060. They're really pretty. I'm not going to take them out of the tube. Silver lined and that gives them that sparkle. Very pretty. Okay, then Spring Clasp 6 millimeter. We got several. These are 24 karat rose gold plated, so they'll match these uh, little metal beads. All right, these are, they're like a um, lobster claw clasp, except that they're round and they, they're called a spring ring, but they have the same kind of mechanism as a lobster claw and they have a ring on to attach to your project. And we got uh, five of them, so yay. They are small. They're six millimeter. They'd be good for bracelets or necklaces, actually. I don't know where to put them there with those. And then three strand tube clasp. Okay, I have some of these in my stash. Um, they're really good for multi-strand bracelets or necklaces. And they just slide like that. And you hook your work onto here and here. They're great for um, peyote in particular. Um, 21 and a half millimeter silver plated tube clasp. That's item 151547. They're gonna force me to do some kind of bead weaving, huh? Hmm. <laughs> uh, now, I don't, did I miss these smooth rondelles? Maybe I missed the, oh, I thought these red ones were the smooth rondelles, okay. These must be what they're calling twist nuggets or rondelle nuggets. I must have just missed them. I don't know. Anyway, these are the smooth rondelles. 14270, I believe, is the number. Um, they're three by six millimeter. And it started to say the color it says BUR, which would be burgundy, but I think it's burnt orange. Um, it doesn't have the color on the message. And these kind of are the thing that doesn't go with this most, <laughs> right? The orange color that goes more with last month's or the month before's October and November, which I'm still working on um, as I film this. So hopefully by the time this goes up, you will see finished projects for the October and November kits. And um, then soon after the 11th, after the 11th, you'll see some projects from this kit. I don't know if Potomac Beads is doing this program next year. Yeah, these are smooth. They're sort of flattish on one side. And yeah, they're nice. I like them. And you get a lot of them. Doesn't tell you how many, but there's quite a few. Maybe, I don't know, 30, 25, 30, something like that. And that is the Winter Luminescence Treasure Box. I hope you enjoyed, and I do hope you'll come back and watch 
um, my other collaborations as well as um, finished projects. And I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching and hugs, love, and peace. Have a wonderful holiday season. Bye.